Good morning. It's the 13th of May, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci, and welcome to the next 100 seconds. Yesterday, to some great amount of fanfare, the President of the United States announced that America was doing more testing than anywhere else in the world. This morning, the Premier of New South Wales indicated that our testing rates are the highest in the world, or at least had been recognized like that in international media. But then the Chinese have just announced that this week they will test all 11 million citizens of the city of Wuhan to bring to an end another outbreak that might be happening there. It seems like we're finally getting the penny drop on testing. The testing is the single most important thing. But you can't just talk about your numbers. You actually have to do it. You have to build the infrastructure. Now, at the beginning of this series, I proposed a very simple idea that, in fact, in order to stay ahead of the virus, we had to grow our testing capacity exponentially. For every unit of time, we needed to be able to do two times as many tests as the time before. We haven't done that, and so the virus is still beating us. We have to think about this differently. We have to redesign our engineering processes, our testing processes, our medical processes, our health processes around exponential growth. Until we get that point through our heads, we will not be in front of this virus. And that's 100 seconds.